आर जेनेटिक एडिटिंग टेक्नोलॉजी ब्रेक थ्रू विच विच यूटिलाइजेज क्रिस्पर सी एस नाइन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इट हैज बीन टाउटेड एज अ ब्रेक थ्रू इन ट्रीटिंग द सिकल सेल एनीमिया ओके एंड अदर ब्लड ब्लड रिलेटेड डिसऑर्डर्स नाउ वाई वी हैव टेकन दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट बिकॉज इन द साइंस एंड टेक्स सेक्शन यू पी एस सी हैज बीन आस्किंग क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग वेरियस डिजीजेज एज इन द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वी फाउंड दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन राइट विच वॉज रिगार्डिंग हेरिडेटरी डिजीजेज नाउ लेट सॉल्व अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच सेज दैट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सिकल सेल डिजीज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट नाउ अवर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज इट इज अ जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर कैरेक्टराइज by the presence of abnormal bone marrow now this is an incorrect statement this is because sickle cell anemia is a genetic disorder but it is characterized by the presence of abnormal hemoglobin right this genetic disorder is characterized by the presence of abnormal hemoglobin and hemoglobin is a protein which is found in red blood cells cells okay and now let's see our second statement which says that it changes red blood cells into round flexible and non sticky cells now this is also an incorrect statement now what happens is that the red blood cells which are important blood cells in any human and in any normal human these red blood cells are round flexible and what is the work of rbcs red blood cells this is to transport oxygen from lungs to the various part of body right this is for transportation of oxygen and for removal of carbon dioxide right this is the primary work of rbcs now what happens is that in any sickle cell anemia or a person suffering from this disease it is a genetic disorder and in this genetic disorder there is an abnormality in a hemoglobin gene inside that person right and because of which what happens is that the cells the rbcs which were originally round and flexible they turned into sickle shaped these rbcs have turned into sickle shaped or the crescent shape of moon right and because of this what happens is that this shape presents an obstruction in the flow of blood in these blood vessels right and because of this what happens is that firstly there is an obstruction in the flow of blood so there will be pain while passes of blood right so it is characterized by acute pain another thing is that as oxygen is vital for the functioning of any organ in the body ultimately the person is going to die from organ failure right it also it is also characterized by various other ailments like stroke and other ailments right so this is all about sickle cell anemia and you would be surprised by the fact that in india annually indian record in the the population of india record around 30000 to 40000 new cases of sickle cell anemia every year right and india has the highest india has the second highest burden of sickle cell anemia in the world and the sickle cell anemia the prevalence of the of this disease is mostly found in the tribal wilds of the country right and regarding this the news article said that there is a a genetic engineering technology which is cas gevy this has been approved by united kingdom right and this technology aims to cure the faulty gene line which is responsible for sickle cell disease okay and this is regarding the genetic the genetic modification of the stem cells of the patients right and regarding this genetic modification which will be done by the use of crispr cas9 technology which is an important genetic engineering technology you must be aware of and by utilizing this technology the faulty gene line will be cured and the person and this would be a one time treatment and the person would be cured of sickle cell disease however this treatment as a uh, this treatment is evolving right and it is yet to be approved by other nations also like us fda and other nations and this is presently at the stage of development and a costlier treatment right and we will see in future for the treatment to evolve and to become more affordable for for its utilization by the populations of the globe right
so this was regarding our first mcq now let's move on to the second mcq for the day which was inspired which is inspired by this news article which appeared uh, this 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 news article also appeared on the page number 15 of indian express and this news article is regarding a deep space optical communication which has been taken place uh, which has been which has been success, successfully executed by nasa right now let's understand more about this topic now why we have taken this topic is that upsc in the science and tech section has been asking questions regarding various development in the fields of it in the fields of communications in the fields of space technology and now this is an amalgamation of advancement in the field of communications as well as in the field of space technology now let us solve this this question right now this question says consider the following statements about the nasa's deep space optical communication okay now let's see the statements the first statement says it is nasa's first demonstration of optical communication beyond the earth moon system now this is a correct statement as nasa's deep space optical communication is the first demonstration of optical communication beyond the earth moon system we will see this in detail and the second statement is it utilizes the ultraviolet range of the electromagnetic spectrum instead of radio waves this is an incorrect statement as deep space optical communication utilized near infrared radiation right it did not utilize ultraviolet spectrum now let's understand basic nuances of this news article right now this as you must be aware of is electromagnetic spectrum this consists of the spectrum or this consists of all the ranges of frequencies and wavelength of all the electromagnetic radiations right now if we see from left hand side we can see radio waves as we move to the right hand side we can see radio waves microwaves infrared radiation then we see visible light then we see ultraviolet light x rays and gamma waves so as we move from the left hand side of this spectrum to the right hand side what do we observe is that the wavelength of these radiations decrease right the wavelength of radio waves is higher is is uh, the the wavelength of radio wave is the longest right and the wavelength of gamma waves is the the minimum minimum it's minimum okay the smallest and at the same time wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency or energy so that's why the gamma waves have highest energy or highest frequency right and radio waves have longest wavelength so these are the basic facts regarding electromagnetic spectrum now as in this question we saw that the name what is this mission about this is nasa's deep space optical communication now we see a term here which is optical communication now if we talk about the communication between the satellite system generally what do we see we hear of this communication which is radio communication okay so this communication takes place by utilizing the radio waves okay so now what are the nuances or the basics of this communication this is the earth surface right so basically there is a transmitter this is a satellite right and this is a receiver so radio waves are transmitted to the satellite at a particular wavelength okay and this satellite what does it do it processes the data it amplifies the signal and then it transmits the the signal back to a receiver this is a transmitter and this is a receiver so this is how radio communication takes place between satellites but now what nasa does nasa did it used the first it did the first successful demonstration of optical communication between satellites now in this communication radio waves were not used but infrared waves were used in this communication okay and if we talk about optical communication it generally refers to communication using visible range of light right or by using infrared radiations right by using the spectrum in the infrared range or in the visible range right so in this communication what nasa did was nasa in place of radio waves this communication 
was executed with the help of laser lights okay and this was in the range of ir infrared radiations near infrared radiations now what is the advantage of this kind of communication why did nasa actually did it now this is because this was to develop state of art communication or more advanced communications as compared to radio communication now this is this chart is a basic difference between radio communication and optical communication now apart from other differences the major difference is that optical communications provide a very high bandwidth so what is bandwidth bandwidth is the amount of data that can be transmitted per unit time okay so larger is the uh, larger is the bandwidth larger is the amount of data transmitted per unit time so because of higher bandwidth of optical communication this will offer this will offer more bits per second right so the communication of optical uh, it would be up to several terabytes per second as compared to several gigabytes per second of radio communication the first difference is very high bandwidth or very high speed which is necessary for advanced uh, advanced communications right and also apart from higher speed what is the second advantage it is lower attenuation attenuation means loss of signals loss of strength of the signals as they travel right now see what happens is that in the case of radio communication as we already saw the wavelength of radio waves is too high right and because of the higher wavelength what happens is that it is prone to more attenuation or to loss of the signals and it is also prone to more electromagnetic interference right and which which is not desirable in any communication and for that matter what do we use we it is advisable to use an advanced form of communication which in future may be optical communications as they have low attenuation or low signal loss right and they could be suitable for long distance transmission without without using repeaters repeaters are devices which are used to amplify the signal strength right and also this they are immune to electromagnetic interference right so this was what happened in this deep space in this deep space optical communication mission by nasa nasa right so as the question asked which of the statement given above is or are correct so our uh, correct statement would be option a one only right now let's move on to our final mcq for the day which is inspired by this article which appeared on the page number 8 of the hindu now this article says that the central government or the union government has added the computer emergency response team cert i in among the list of organizations which are exempted from the ambit of right to information act right now we know that upsc has repeatedly asked questions regarding various regulatory bodies these bodies could be statutory bodies or non statutory bodies or other organizations right now uh, uh, now computer emergency response team cert in is a regulatory body right so let's solve uh, mcq regarding it the first statement says that cert in is an independent body under the ministry of home affairs now this is an incorrect statement as this is an independent body as cert is an independent body or a regulatory body under meti ministry of information and technology okay and cert in is a nodal agency in india which is responsible for reporting or which deals with the incidents of cyber crime in the country okay so it is an apex body regarding the incidents of cyber crime now let's solve the second statement which says that cert in has been designed as the nodal agency to represent india in the budapest convention on cyber crimes now see this is an incorrect statement why because if we talk about budapest convention this is an international convention and which deals to streamline the cyber security laws of uh, majority nations in the world right but india is not a signatory to the budapest convention okay so this statement would be incorrect as c as india is not signatory to this convention okay and now let's talk about third statement which says that 
it is the only cert in is the only agency which is exempted from the purview of right to information act now this is an incorrect statement right now why <coughs> the right to information under the right to information act the rti applicants can gather some information regarding various public organizations right but there are certain organizations which are exempted from this ambit of rti okay and this is provided by the second schedule of rti act 2005 and this schedule deals with the list of organizations which are exempted from the purview of right to information act and there are presently there are 27 organizations which are exempted from this purview you not need to know about all the organizations or to memorize all the organizations but you just you should know some important organizations which are exempted from the purview of this act these organizations are intelligence bureau raw research and analysis wing directorate of revenue intelligence ntro drdo cert in and cert in is the latest addition in this list and this was the news all about that cert is the latest addition in the second schedule of right to information act 2005 right so as the question asked which of the above statement is or are incorrect right so our option our answer would be option d 1 2 and 3 all these statements are incorrect okay